Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Power Soccer Shop tutorial. My name is Reed, and today we're going to be adding washers to the rear anti-tip bar of the Strike Force to help prevent the chair from tipping back during gameplay and to help you feel a little safer on the court. As you can see, this chair can tip back and forth quite a bit, so we're going to add two washers to each rear caster to see if that helps. First, we're going to take out the two shoulder bolts holding in the anti-tip bar linkage. To do this, you're going to need a 7 16 inch wrench and a 5 32 of an inch Allen wrench. You can also use a socket wrench to speed up the process, which is what I'll be using. Now that we have those removed, we can take out the center linkage piece and move on to the next step. Now we're going to take out the last two shoulder bolts holding the tip bar in place. I'll zoom in so you can see them a little bit better. We're going to need a 3 16 of an inch Allen wrench to take these out. I'm going to be using a socket again because this part can be a little time consuming and it'll help speed things up. Now that we have both of those shoulder bolts taken out, you should be able to completely remove the anti-tip bar from the chair, and then we'll move into some close-ups and I'll show you how to add washers to the rear casters. You can see that we're using three washers as a spacer here. We're going to need to grab onto this section with the pliers, and then we will also need to remove this nut with a 9 16 of an inch socket wrench to remove the caster wheel. Like I said earlier in the video, we are going to be adding two washers to each rear caster. This should help prevent the chair from tipping back so far. Later on we will do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see what it was in the beginning and what the end result is. It's not going to be a huge difference, but it should be noticeable. When you add washers to the rear casters, this will cause the chair to tip back less when you remove washers, this will cause the chair to tip back more. When adding washers, you want to be careful because if you add too many, the rear caster wheels will be on the ground 100% of the time. When this happens, it can cause the caster wheels to wear out very quickly. So you want to try to find a happy medium between tipping back too much and not tipping back enough. If you have one, you can also use an impact driver. This will definitely speed things up. Alright, now we can add the washers. Like I said, we're going to be adding two to each rear caster. After we get everything reassembled, we will compare the results. Alright, now that we have that reassembled, we can reattach it to the chair, starting with the two lower shoulder bolts. When reinstalling the tip bar linkage, the top hole is offset. As you can see, you want to make sure that this is pointing towards the back of the chair.
Alright, this looks much better. Like I said, the difference isn't huge, but really it all comes down to personal preference. We'll switch back to the first video so you can really see and compare them side by side. One last thing that I wanted to mention that can also affect the rear casters is tire wear. I have a very worn out tire here comparing it to a brand new one, and you can see how much taller the new tire is compared to the old one. So as your tires wear out, the chair will actually sit lower to the ground. So this is something just to keep in mind when changing your tires or when you're just going over your chair before a big tournament, you may need to add or take out some washers. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any other video ideas like this one, feel free to send me a message and we'll get them made as soon as possible.